everyone. Happy Thursday, April 1st. April Fools. Um, I hope you all are doing well and I'm glad you're taking the time to join me today to do a little bit of yoga. So let's get started. So coming down into our yoga seats, sitting nice and tall. Let's settle into our bodies just a little bit, rolling our shoulders back. And let's roll them forward. Ooh, I have some crunching going on. Does the weather bother your body? It certainly doesn't do wonderful things for mine. <laughs> All right, let's roll our shoulders forward. Give our upper back a little bit of a stretch here. And then bring our shoulders up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just stretch your chest. Arch your uh, upper back just a little bit. And let's do that again. Round your shoulders forward. Feel a nice stretch in your upper back. And then bring your shoulders up. Oh boy. Squeeze your shoulder blades your, together toward the back. Get a stretch in your chest. One more time in each direction. Bring your shoulders up and around. So get that stretch between your shoulder blades and a nice stretch in your upper back there. And then let's bring our shoulders up. Oh, shoulder blades together, stretch across the chest. And let's come to a nice tall seat. Let's take our right hand and push it toward the left. So now you're getting a stretch on the side of your body, but also on the side of the back. So flat palm push. And come back. Left hand, flat palm push. Feel that nice stretch. And come back. We're going to do the each one two more times. So right hand, flat palm, push. And to the left, flat palm, push. One more time, each side, right? Flat palm, Push toward the left. And last time, left hand, flat palm, push toward the left, or toward the right. And let's come back, sitting nice and tall. Let's do a nice spinal twist right here. Right hand on the outside of the left thigh. Left arm comes to the back of the chair. Again, sitting nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in the center. And as you release the breath, turn and look over your left shoulder. And breathing yourself back to center. Place your left hand on the outside of the right thigh. The right arm comes to the back of the chair. Sitting nice and tall, take a nice deep breath in center. And as you release the breath, turn and look over your right shoulder.
and then breathing yourself right back to that nice tall center space. Now, if your feet are about hip width apart, just turn your, um, your feet so that your heels are facing a little bit so your knees go out to the side. Place your hands at the top of your knees. Take a nice deep breath here, nice tall back. And then as you release the breath, just let your hands slide all the way down the front of your legs. And then slowly relax into ragdoll pose from the chair. So really let your shoulders, your arms, just become really loose and limp and let gravity do the work here. Notice where you feel this stretch. And then let your hands slide back up your legs, coming to that nice tall center seat, back into seated mountain pose. So your feet are about hip width apart and parallel. And press into the bottom of your feet so that you feel really grounded as we begin our yoga practice today hands gently in your lap. We're going to start with three candle breaths. I really like the, the idea of the candle breath because it just brings me back to, you know, when I was a little girl, when my kids were little, even my grandchildren when we had birthday parties, and they take that deep breath in and think of something really, really special, something that they either wanted or, you know, just something really, really good. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a nice deep breath in, place that positive, wonderful image into our minds, and then we're going to blow out the candle. So let's begin. Take that nice deep inhale. And let's blow out the candle. And again, inhale. And blow out the candle. Two more times like that. So inhale. Blow out the candle. Last one. Inhale. the candle. Now let's take a few moments to pull our attention inward and follow the breath through the body, noticing how we feel.
and gently bring your awareness back to your room and let's begin. Relax your arms down by your sides. Let's inhale up and exhale down. And let's inhale up the front. Stretch to the ceiling. Now let's twist to the right and open up to Thursday, April 1st. Breathing ourselves up through center, stretch nice and tall, arch your back, open your heart center, breathe in the universal energy right here. And then breathe yourself all the way up. Stretch nice and tall. And let's twist to the left one more time. Opening up and embracing this Thursday, April 1st. And breathing yourself back to that nice tall center space let's bring our hands together and interlace our fingers so we're going to start with a stretch to the right full crescent moon And then come up through center, stretch, 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 to the left, full crescent moon. And then come back all the way up, stretch nice and tall. Now we're just going to turn all our palms to the ceiling. Now you can look up at your palms if it if it helps. All right, and what we're just going to do is trying to keep that nice tall back. We're just going to make little circles. So, coming around one way, working with the ribs. So that's where the movement is originating from. The, up, the mid back, the ribs. And let's go the other direction. Don't hold your breath while you're doing this. Keep your breathing nice and deep one more time around. And as we're back to that nice tall center space, then just come back to your hands together fingers interlaced and let's lean to the right full crescent moon just notice if you get to come into full crescent moon a little bit deeper 
if it feels different after those little circles, I missed you. And breathe yourself up through center. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And lean to the left, full crescent moon. And then come all the way up, stretch, stretch, nice and tall. Release your fingers, wiggle them out just a little bit. As a matter of fact, stretch your legs out, point your toes, wiggle your hands. Full shining star from the chair. So let's keep our hands still. I'm going to push back in my chair just a little bit because I'm right at the edge. Hi, Mischief. So now we're in five pointed star. Okay, our feet are nice and wide. Stretch your fingers. And we're going to come down into folded star. Nice flat back. And as you're in folded star, breathe here. I'm going to pet my kitty. Stretch your arms forward, keeping your hands stretched nice and wide, unless you're petting your kitty or your puppy. Folded star right here. And then engage your core. Come up into five-pointed star. Let's walk our feet together. Bring our hands down into our lap into three-pointed star. Sitting nice and tall. Flex your feet up. So now you're, you're resting on your heels. Flex your feet up into modified staff pose from the chair. And let's take two nice transition breaths right here. So with your feet still flexed up and your hands in your lap, sitting nice and tall, slowly engage your core and make your way nice and slow to the back of your chair. Breathing nice and deep, making sure that this work is being done from your core, not your shoulders. Slowly, 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 slowly come to the back of your chair. And when you reach the back of your chair, point your toes. Walk them forward just a little bit. Bring your arms up overhead. Give yourself that nice full body stretch. Really stretch as much as you can. Where do you feel the stretch? Do you feel it in the front of your core? Do you feel it in your legs? Breathe into this stretch right here. Gently bring your arms down, holding on to the side of your chair, and bend your knees. We're going to come into a modified bridge pose. So 
Mischief just walked under my legs. He used my legs as his bridge. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop our pelvis under, pushing through the bottom of our feet, tightening up the muscles from our feet through our ankles, shins, thighs. Tighten your butt muscles. Tighten your lower abs. You might feel the tightening move up the front of your core just a little bit. Modify bridge pose from the chair. And then relax your muscles. Release modified bridge, holding on to the side of your seat. Engage your core and come all the way up to a nice tall seat. Adjust yourself in your chair. So while we're here and still holding on to the sides of our chair, we're going to do those little pelvic tilts. And these pelvic tilts are really, really easy to do in so many different places. Whether you're in your car, even when you're driving, you're stopped at a light, you can do some pelvic tilts, especially if you've been in the car for a while, sitting still, um, in a car, it just isn't good for the back or the circulation. So this is one way that we can um, work with that. So we're just gonna scoop our pelvis under so you feel a tightening in your thighs, your lower abs. You might feel your butt feeling a little bit tight. And release. It's such a subtle movement that nobody knows you're doing it except you. Scoop your pelvis under. Feel the tightening in the core. And release. Remember, don't hold your breath when we're doing this. So let's scoop our pelvis under. release and let's do that one more time scoop your pelvis under and release so let's place our hands in our laps and let's roll our shoulders up to our ears and squeeze. And as the shoulders round to the back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and relax your shoulders down the back body. And then let's bring our shoulder blades together at the bottom of the circle and bring our shoulders up the back all the way up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then as your shoulders round the top of the circle, stretch between your shoulder blades and relax your shoulders down. Very nice. Let's take a nice transition breath right here. Let's relax our arms down by our sides and stretch our fingertips toward the floor. Okay, we just rolled our shoulders back and rolled our shoulders forward. Let's get a little bit more of a stretch for the top of the shoulders. You may feel the stretch also in your chest as you really stretch down. 
You may feel that stretch across your upper back as well. Let's take two nice deep breaths here. Let's release the stretch for a moment and let's bring the right arm all the way up and we're just going to stretch, stretch, stretch that right arm up, up, up and now we're going to create an opposing stretch, left arm stretches down to the floor. So just notice how this feels in your body, stretch, stretch pushing up the sky, pressing into the earth. Stretch, stretch. Two nice breaths here. And then relax your right arm down. Let's bring the left arm up and we're just going to stretch, stretch, stretch the left arm up as far as you can and then stretch the right arm down toward the floor. Once again, pushing up the sky, pressing into the earth, getting that nice opposing stretch right here. Let's take two nice deep breaths. Keep the stretch active. And then relax the left arm down. Let's bring our hands back into our lap and go right into a nice spinal twist. So take your right hand, place it on the outside of the left thigh. The left arm comes to the back of the chair. Nice tall back. Taking a nice deep breath in center here. And as you release the breath, turn and look over your left shoulder. And then breathe yourself back to that nice tall center space and place your left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Your right arm comes to the back of the chair, sitting nice and tall. Let's take a nice deep breath here. And as you release the breath, turn and look over your right shoulder. And breathe yourself back to that nice tall center space. Now let's scoot over to the right side of our chair and we're just going to do warrior one from the chair. So sitting at the edge of the right side of your chair, your left leg is going to be your foundation leg. Your right leg, we're going to bend the knee and scoop the toes under to help us stay nice and tall. 
and safe in our chair. We're just going to stretch our arms down. Stretch down, out, all the way up. Warrior one in the chair. And then stretch up, 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 and relax your arms down. Let's release the right leg and come to center. Holding on to the chair, we're just going to lift up that right leg, do a couple of circles one way, and let's go the other direction. And then let's stretch the right leg forward. Place the heel on the floor, flex the foot up, place your hand at the top of your thigh and let it slide all the way down wherever you can touch your, your lower shin, your ankle, the um, top of your foot, hold on to your t big toe just breathe into this stretch here. This is a modified hold the big toe pose. And then let your hands slide up your right leg and let's scoot over to the left side of our chair. So now our right leg is our foundation leg and our left leg is going to get that nice stretch in warrior one from the chair. So stretch your hands down toward the floor. Stretch down, 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 down out all the way up warrior one from the chair breathe into this stretch right here And then stretch up, 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 and bring your arms down. Release your left leg. Holding on to the sides of your chair, lift your left, left leg up, keep the knee bent. Let's do those circles. Let's go the other way. And let's stretch the leg out, placing it, placing your heel, heel down on the floor so your foot is flexed. Place your hand at the top of the thigh and let it slide all the way down. Modified, hold the big toe pose. slide our hand all the way back up. Bring your left leg back, sitting nice and tall in your yoga seat. Let's take a few moments to close our eyes and sit with the breath. 
bringing our awareness inward and just noticing how we feel after our practice today. Relaxing your arms down by your sides. Let's inhale up. And exhale down. And let's inhale up the front. Bringing our hands together in prayer pose and letting them slowly make their way down to our heart center. Let's take one more nice deep breath here. And I hope this practice has been good for you. I hope it's helped. Um, and once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of our community. Um, I will keep posting as in-person classes begin um, next week. Uh, and I hope that as nicer weather comes along, we'll be able to be out under the tent um, and practicing together outside, which was absolutely wonderful last, last year. So have a wonderful and happy April Fool's Day. Don't play too many tricks, but whatever you do, be safe, be healthy, be happy, Remember your candle breath when you want to bring some beautiful feelings into your day and always, always smile. Namaste. Have anything to say, Miss Jim? Besides, you want something more to eat? Ah, oh, tell everybody, say, Happy April Fools! Here we are! Okay, down you go. Must be lunchtime for mischief. <laughs>